Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and welcome back to the Young Guns. I have no clue what part this is, but in this part, I have decided that we're gonna start growing a cow plant. So basically, you can get a cow plant from either fishing and getting lucky and just getting the cow plant berry, or you can graft it with your garden sim. And she obviously wants to grow a cow plant, and I want to do it in the hardest way possible because I like a challenge. So what we need is strawberries and drag, not dragon fruit, um, snapdragon. So we have snapdragon and I think we have strawberries? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, so we're actually gonna have to come up here and, um, we're going why is it so angry i don't know we're gonna water everything i think what are you up to Haley? oh no our shower's broken um chloe can you repair this for me so yeah all i've decided to do today is focusing on gardening a little bit are you just ditching your blt okay that's cool i guess I don't know why you just ditched it why you just didn't continue eating it but oh well that's fine um Oh, Chloe, you have work. Have you even read books like you were meant to? No, you have not. And why are they not finishing their breakfasts? I don't understand. What is this new thing where they don't finish what they're eating? Oh, also, off screen, I actually aged up um, Paxton and Marisol. I will put them up on the screen now if I remember to in editing. I... I'm kind of in love with Paxton. He turned out really, really cute. He kind of reminds me of um, of one of the Cranks kids, actually. He looks a little bit like Tyler, um, but he is so cute. I love him. Seriously, like, when I aged him up, my jaw, like, hit the floor. I was like, oh my goodness and it's no surprise because he has some he has some strong family genes but i was just like whoa for an in-game sim you are cute like i was impressed to say the least so i think i am gonna be uploading a part of the young guns on halloween which is this saturday i'm super pumped for halloween this year i don't know what it is i'm just so excited um but yeah, I'm thinking of throwing a Halloween party in The Sims. I'll probably download like a haunted house type place because I know that there's a couple on the gallery. And whenever we throw a party at home, like it just gets way too crowded because we know too many people. Oh my goodness, we are so popular. My Sims know the whole town. Um, but yeah, it gets like super, super crowded. So this is kind of a fill apart. I apologize. I I think we're gonna go and visit the the enemy of Nina. I don't actually know if she knows him. I don't think she does. Oh, also, in the last part, we found out that Chloe had a little bit of a flirtation with some old dude. And one of you said that she had a flirtation with Tavin. And, oh, Tavin, I don't really know how you pronounce that name. Um... But yeah, she's got a little bit of a flirtation with him. And it's kind of like, that's only a few interactions of flirtiness, but that's pretty, like, high up. Um, my sims, when I'm obviously playing a different family, these sims do whatever they want. So they do kind of flirt with whoever they want. I did not make her flirt with Taven or Tevin, or whatever he's called. But apparently she wanted to, and... um. I find that, that a little bit, but I find it. I found that really funny because so many of you on the last part was like, oh my god, she has a romantic relationship. And they are just like flirtations. Um, they're nothing serious, especially because I haven't done them. <laughs> I only see the official relationships as ones that I've created. And a lot of you were talking about her and Joey. Some of you really like them together. Some of you were like, I only see them as a fling. I haven't decided. I have actually added in a female that I think Haley could be very interested in. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to have those two hang out a little bit and see how they get on. That's a really good picture. 
That is so, so good, but we are unfortunately going to sell it. Oh, Nina, you're getting a call from Alexi. Aw, Alexi is wondering if you want to go over to his house and hang out. Well, thanks, Aless Alexi. You've just given me a reason to record this part. I basically just wanted to get younguns up for you guys today. I feel like my channel's been lacking in Sims recently. I don't know why. I think it's because I've reached towards the end of Get to Work. So that's kind of like, it's been slow. Um, so I just feel like I haven't been recording Sims all that much. And I know it's like my main thing on my channel. So I feel like I just need to get back into it. I'm thinking of doing the Black Widow challenge just in between now and the time that Get Together comes out. Um, let me know your thoughts on that because I really am thinking about doing that. I think that could be very fun. I think I would love that challenge. Basically, the premise of the challenges is you marry 10 men and take all their money from them. I think it would be so much fun to do. And where are the... Why can't we get in? Is Alexi even here? Oh, he is. Hey, brother. Um... We're gonna go have a little gossip with him. Hey bro, he is actually our brother now. I did change their relationship. Um, so they are brother and sister, I'm fairly sure. Where is he? Yeah, they're brother and sister. And they're really good friends. They're like best friends, which I find adorable. We're gonna joke about engineers. They have such a good relationship with each other. Um, Ever since finding out that they were related, they just like have become like best friends. I don't know who's older and stuff like that. Um, we're gonna joke about old times and we're gonna have a little inside joke. Just have a little brother and sister hangout, I guess. This is adorable. So let's um I don't know why I'm complimenting his outfit. It's only like his uh <laughs> his team colours. Um just cause fitness techniques, I guess. He's pretty into that. We'll ask him about his day and uh brighten his day a little bit too. Joke about fashion. Is anyone else in? Is Joey or Silas here? Oh, Silas is playing Sims over here. I love the boys' house. I am thinking of moving Jared in here as well, which will be quite fun. Um, I don't think Joey's around, to be honest. I can't see him anywhere. Little Joseph. Um, no, I really can't see him. He's such a little cutie. I love Joey. He's so cute. He's like the baby of the football team. That's why I find him so adorable. No, I don't think he's here. Um, but that's cool. Our brother's here. We should probably go, um, talk to Silas for a little bit as well, but... Why do you have a wedding cake, boys? Oh no, it's not a wedding cake, it's just a white cake. Oh, Joey made it! That's so cute. We're gonna take a piece of cake. <laughs> Why was Joey- I can just imagine Joey coming back from work and just being like, Hey guys- Oh, like these guys coming back from work and Joey just being like, Hey guys, I baked cake. <laughs> I find that so cute. Oh my goodness, what a little sweetie. I want- I just imagine Joey as like my little cute brother. I don't know why. I love him though. I'm so attached to that sim and I don't even play him that often. Like, I don't think I've ever played him actually. Maybe once? Probably not though. I just think he's adorable. Like, so cute. We definitely do need to play as um Paxton though. Like, I want to get him like a girlfriend and stuff maybe a part-time job and um he's so adorable as, as soon as i aged him up i was like whoa there i wouldn't mind being your girlfriend <laughs> it's so weird i know but who can blame me i mean you guys saw the picture you guys know know what to expect so yeah i'm thinking of moving jared into this room just because at the minute he's living with his dad and i feel like he definitely wouldn't want to do that. Like, he'd kind of want to um, move out and stuff. It, although his dad is lovely. Oh, I just clicked my teeth together. That really hurt. Doesn't it kill when you do that? Um, yeah, his dad's lovely. Don't get me wrong. I really like his dad. He's really easy to get along with and stuff like that. But I feel like Jared would be like, you know what, dad? I've been living with you for a while. I think it's time that I get back on my feet and, you know, do my own thing and stuff like that. So, um, I think we'll move him into the boys' house. I'll probably, probably play as Jared soon, actually. I haven't played as him in a real long time and I kind of want to. Like, considering 
Marisol just aged up. I feel like we should play as Jared. Obviously not in the next part because I am planning a Halloween party and literally inviting everyone. Like I cannot wait. That is going to be so much fun. There's Poppy. Poppy's sauntering down the road. Um, oh yeah, in the last part I think we came to this park and someone asked if it was an update. No, this is just a park that I downloaded off the gallery. If you like just search up parks, I'm sure you'll find it. Um, I think it's like Newcrest Park or something like that. Um, but it's a really nice park. I really, really like it. It looks so pretty, especially with the autumn mod. A lot of people have been asking about that. Um, saying, how do you have autumn trees? It is a mod. If you Google Sims 4 autumn mod, you will find it. Um, it's like the first thing that crops up. But a lot of people have been asking about that recently. Oh, this house is kind of annoying. You can't like zoom in. Oh, what's going on? I don't understand. There we go, that's better. Why wasn't it doing that in the first place? So she's just here playing on this. I don't actually know where the boys are or anything. Oh, Alexi's working out whilst watching sports, you know, as you do. Um, this is such, this is just their house, isn't it? Oh, there's Joey, my little bro. What's he up to? Oh, he's going to the toilet. Oh no, he's not. He's coming to talk to Alexi, I think. Yeah. He's like, hey dude, how's, how's the working out going? Look at his little face. He's so cute. I just want to give him a cuddle so bad. He's just, I just see him as my little brother, which I know is weird, but I feel like him and Harry are the little brothers of this Let's Play. Even though there's kids in this Let's Play, um, I still feel like those two are like the two, the two babies. Right, we're going to go use this and then I think we're going to go home just because I do actually want to get the cow plant today. Well, we're not going to get the cow plant today, but I want to at least make a dragon fruit plant. Um, this will help some of you maybe who don't know how to do this or maybe you want a cow plant but don't just want to fish for it. You know, everyone needs a challenge every now and then, but it does take a while for the plants to graft together. And if you guys ever need to know this, I literally just Google things. I'm like, what do I need to make a cow plant in The Sims 4? <laughs> I Google everything. Sims VIP, Alexis is a lifesaver for all this stuff because you literally just go onto her website. Look, there's Paxton. How attractive is he? Little hunk. Um, Marisol is also aged up as well as you can see they are both now teenagers marisol actually looks a lot like jared like as soon as i aged her up it was literally like jared with female hair it was kind of hilarious like they look so much alike it's kind of scary like she has his lips she has his nose she kind of has her mum's eyes um they're a little bigger than Jared's eyes, but her nose and mouth and jaw are just Jared. It's it's seriously like Jared in a wig. If I put long hair on Jared, he would look exactly the same as Marisol. That's one thing I like about The Sims 4. You can definitely um, see the relations between Sims. Like in The Sims 3, it was kind of hit and miss. Like they were either exactly the same or um not right we're gonna take a cutting of this no actually we'll take a cutting of the strawberry i think it's a cutting um yeah we need a shoot i think i think we take a cutting to do this and then we just click graft do we have one already chamomile strawberry oh okay we already have one so uh let's go put that with the snapdragon and I think we need to... I don't know how we get excellent plants. Improve 10 plants to excellent quality by keeping them weed free and providing them with plenty of water and fertilizer when they are ready. Oh, okay. So we kind of need to fertilize. That makes sense. Right. Let's fertilize you. We're just going to fertilize a lot of them, I guess. Um... Oh, okay. You're right there, game. We're going to fertilize you with chrysanthemum. I'm actually going to save this because it seems to be running a little bit slow right now and I'm 
kind of scared that it's going to crash on me. It did decide to crash the other day, actually. Um, we're going to evolve it and evolve this one, too. Is this excellent? Seriously, like, we've had these plants for so long. And they're all still just good. I don't understand. How long is it going to take to get them to excellent? Because this is her last step of being... Uh, being a freelance botanist. What does she actually get? Naturalist. Sims that are naturalists don't need to fear fire. It won't touch them and they can extinguish it with ease. Okay, so it basically makes us flammable. Where are you going, mister? Um, oh look, here's... Who's this? Oh no, I thought it was... Oh, this is Tevin! This is the guy that um, Haley kind of flirted with. I don't know why... Why would you flirt with him when you have Joey right there? My goodness. Um, buddy, you need to come and take a shower and then you can do your homework as well for me. We want to get your grades up, little one. He is close to becoming a B grade student. I ha really haven't focused on his... Oh, Haley's home as well. Did you not have work today? Oh my goodness, she didn't. <gasps> Sorry, Haley. Totally should have invited you around to visit the boys as well. Oh, she actually needs to reach skill um, skill level 4 in thingy, in logic. So we're going to go and do that. I kind of want to go around to the girl's house that... Uh, actually, we'll invite her to the party, I think. Because she does work in her career um she is an artist or a want to be artist i guess she's really cool like i made her pretty not alternative but she's kind of like colorful and just a really fun sim i really enjoyed making her so um yeah we'll test out the waters with that because i know that you guys do want to see some representation and different storylines in this let's play i'm definitely getting that feedback from you guys so i say let's just test the waters like that's what i like my sims to do when they're entering relationships and stuff like that i don't try and force them upon anything she's like super bored boring work work was work another boring day doing boring things <laughs> Oh, bless her. Why don't you go use the toilet? And then you need to read a few more books, I think. Um, she's doing pretty well in her job. She's a writer level three. So, yeah, she's doing okay. Right, we're going to read um, read that book for me right there. Oh, seriously, why are they cancelling out of all the... Like, she just got off the toilet halfway through a pee. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, can you come and repair this for us, please, Nina? Because Oh, actually, I think you're locked, locked out of this. <laughs> She's locked out of this room because she kept, she kept using the computer. It was really irritating. Did you make that plant, by the way? Yeah. So now we have a normal spliced plant, which is snapdragon, dragon fruit, and strawberry. And then I think... Once the dragon fruit has actually grown, I think we graft that with another strawberry, I want to say. I'm going to quickly read this. Um, okay, so yeah, you... Oh no, it's a snapdragon and a dragon fruit. Okay, so we kind of need to get another snapdragon plant going, just in case. So, oh my god, her inventory is so damn full. Do we have any more snapdragon? Yeah, here we go. So, um, come and plant this for me as well. Just so I know that we have a snapdragon plant to craft with a dragon fruit. Which will then give us the cow plant berry. Which I'm so excited about. I can't wait to have our little own cow plant. I do love cow plants. I think they're so entertaining. <laughs> I really do love them. Oh, we need to make some dinner for everyone. Uh, we're gonna serve, actually, Haley, are you level 4 yet? I think you did get that. Did I miss the notification? Yeah, logic level 4. Right then, Haley, come on, try and cook something. Um, we're gonna make some grilled cheese. I was, I was gonna do something serious, but we'll just stick to the, to the easy stuff for poor little Haley. Um, how are you getting on with your homework, mister? Look at his skills! 
Oh yeah, I forgot, he got social butterfly, didn't he? So basically, a lot of you have been saying, please age Nathan up. I do want to age him up, but I want him to kind of be an A grade student first. I don't know. Maybe I'll age him up as a B student. But I'm not going to age him up in the next part. Maybe in the next couple of parts. Just because um, those two only just aged up and he's a little bit younger than them. So we're going to keep him a child for a little bit longer. Just, uh, just to see. Don't have pancakes. Don't eat pancakes. She's making grilled cheese for us. Come on, we have to respect Haley. She's actually making dinner for once. She legit like never makes dinner. So I want people to eat her food just so she knows that we're happy that she made it. Right, go grab a serving and you, mister, can grab a serving as well. Chloe, how's this book going for you? Have you finished it? Oh, okay. That sounds good. It sounds interesting. I kind of don't like her work gear. I feel like she looks too professional. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like she would be like the type of writer that would always wear um, like dresses to work, like really funky coloured dresses. She's so quirky that I think that's the type of person she is rather than going in a pantsuit. Um, what level are you on? Level three. I definitely want her to get to level 5 so that we can become a journalist. Writing is actually something I've never done in my Let's Plays. You know what? I think we're going to invite Ted over. I know a lot of you like her and Harry. <laughs> this is nothing, don't worry. Um, I know a lot of you do like her and Harry, but I just want her to get to know Ted. You know, no restrictions or anything, but we're going to invite him to hang out at our current lot, see if he wants to come over for a little bit. Right, there you go. Oh, our daily task is to write books, not read them. Okay, was that a glitch? She definitely didn't get her phone out just then. <laughs> she was just talking. I don't know what's going on with my game at the minute. Oh, you can go in the bin. Um, give us some money, money, money. And then you can go in the fridge. Okay, she's still super bored. <laughs> Bless her. Oh, Ted's here. Let's go and... Was he... Did he just complain about Haley? Uh, we're going to go brighten his day a little bit. Do we even have a relationship with Ted? Do we even know each other? Or do we not like each other? Randomly. Um, no, we don't know him. Why was he looking so sad that Haley was here? I don't understand. Well, that was weird. <laughs> Haley, go use the bathroom. Right, um... Let's complain about boredom, you know? He goes to our... He's in our work as well. I'm sure he's feeling the boredom of it as well. Complain about work. There we go. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> and we're also gonna have a deep conversation with him. Oh, mister, you need to go to sleep. It's 9pm. Go to sleep, little one. I actually downloaded some custom content beds, but as I said, we are currently saving and I probably am going to play a few days off screen just to start building up our funds because I definitely want to move them into a bigger house. I feel like this house is getting way too cramped for them, especially if one of the girls does decide to settle down and start their own family i can't actually imagine them moving out i don't know why but i can just don't want it to happen i know at some point they're probably gonna have to like at least one of them is gonna have to move out especially if they do start their own family um you can go to sleep oh we're gonna turn that off and you can come and do some meditating you've not done that for a while nina Right, Ted, um, pitch a story idea. Ooh. Let's see if he likes our story idea. He's like, okay. <laughs> he really has no clue what we were going on about. Oh, we have work tomorrow. Oh, sorry, dude, but we're going to have to eat before we go to bed. Uh, grab a serving of grilled cheese. And I think I'm going to end this part here, guys. Sorry that not too much happened, but we are well on our way to making that cow plant, which is good. Um... I just don't know how to make these plants excellent. I've evolved them seriously so much. Wow, you guys are 
really lit up right now. But yeah, I've evolved her plants so much and they're still all good, which is so annoying. I'm like, please just give me an excellent plant because I just, I just want it. What level is she on as well? Oh man, we definitely need to write more good books. <laughs> Uh, she's almost finished Painter Extraordinaire. She is so close to a level 10 as well. So the girls are doing really well in their aspirations and careers. Chloe definitely needs to um, focus on her work a little bit more, I feel. And who knows? Ted, you're looking very suggestive right there. Oh man, what are you doing? Don't pull that face. <laughs> But I'm gonna end this part here, so thank you all so much for watching. I'm really excited to have a Halloween party in the next part. I hope you guys are excited for it. If you like this part, please do give it a big thumbs up. Leave all of your comments and suggestions down below. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.